So once again, we have started the day by getting up at four o'clock in the morning to get a train. Why do we do this to ourselves? I know, it's like a running theme in our lives, I feel. But this time we're at Shanghai Hongqiao Airport, which, no, train station. It's so big it feels like an airport. Um, our train is at 6am but we've got here a bit early because you have to check in kind of like an airport. You have to go through security yeah. and like passport check and all of that first. So, turns out we're actually even earlier than we thought. The train station doesn't open until 5am and it's now 20 to 5. <laughs> Yesterday we bought literally hundreds of snacks. we didn't want to be hungry on this train because it's 14 hours and we don't want to pay loads of money on, for snacks on the train. So for breakfast we just got this like bread that looks kind of like bread and butter pudding in the UK. It's got raisins on, it's kind of sweet, it's a bit weird. I think you may be meant to put it in the toaster but it will do for the morning. There's some good leg room there. There's a good amount of luggage storage here. We've got good leg room, good luggage space. It's not as nice as the train we got from Guilin to, no, from Shenzhen, Shenzhen to Guilin, but it is still pretty nice. It's just a little bit dirtier. Yeah. Dear passengers, welcome aboard China Railway High Speed. This is a spoke free train. Thank you for your cooperation. So, 14 and a half hours is quite a long time on the train. Yeah. Um, there were some flights available. But they were really expensive. Yeah, yeah, they were at least twice the price. These tickets cost us, how much? £60 each, I think. Yeah, which is still quite expensive for us. Yeah. So it takes us from Shanghai to Chengdu. Yeah. And even though the train goes at like 300 miles an hour, it still takes 14 hours. 300 kilometres now. Oh, okay, great. Right. But yeah, it's still very, very fast. So they have a hot water dispenser here, so you can go and make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I think people here drink hot water just as, as a drink. I don't really understand that. Right now they were making a coffee because we got up at 4am. For anyone interested, this is a toilet on a Chinese high-speed bullet train. They're pretty clean, smells quite nice, there's no window, but there's a sink, there's a toilet, toilet paper, fine, door locks, can't really complain really. So I went down there, um, there was a bit of confusion. I think the thing I wanted, they didn't have. And then he made a few radio calls and they did have, what, this stuff? So I got like a steaky thing and Jenny got like a beef curry thing. Okay. I think that's what you asked for. Um, and we're just gonna have a look and see if they're any good. There's like beef, peas, sweet corn, carrots. 
something. I think it might be egg. I think that might be chicken feet. Right. With rice and maybe... Mushrooms? No. Tofu? Oh, maybe. Feels like halloumi. Oh. I think it's squid. Oh, yeah. So mine looks like some kind of beef curry sort of thing. A little bit of potato, rice. And then mine maybe is tofu. Oh no, it feels squidgy, it feels like potato. So that was good. It was tasty. We finished all of it. We pretty much didn't leave anything behind. It was about 10, 12 pounds, something like that. So it's not too expensive, but it's not the cheapest thing we've eaten while we were in China either. Passengers, welcome to China Railway High Speed. This is a smoke free train. Thank you for your cooperation. How can I announce that? That long in Chinese just mean welcome to the train, please don't smoke. No, he's. Chinese people are getting sick of it. Where the good toilet? There's like a party coach in it. It's been nearly 11 hours now, and we've eaten quite a lot of snacks. And then our teeth got too sugary coated, so we had to go brush our teeth. Yeah. We've drunk most of the iced tea. Our internet, we keep going through channels now at the minute, so our internet keeps going in and out, we can't hotspot from our phones, so we can't really do that much work. So. And we haven't got really anything downloaded on our phones to watch. We might have a little bit of Netflix. Yeah, maybe we'll just finish with a bit of Netflix. Final meal of the day or final kind of snack is some ramen that we picked up in the supermarket yesterday. I've gone for shrimp plum because I love fish. And Robbie's gone for green peppercorn pork. Even though he's allergic to green peppercorn and I did tell him when we were buying the stuff, but there we go.